Have you ever heard about the Kintamani? It's an ancient dog breed who was developed on the streets of the beautiful island of Bali. In this video I will tell you everything you need to know about the Kintamani dog breed. Quick quiz before the video. When did the Kintamani breed receive official FCA recognition? A. 1919 B. 1969 or C. 2019 Watch the video and find out the correct answer. I would also love to thank Cindy, Sally and Melinda who let me use their photos and videos. You should definitely go and check out their Instagram if you like the Kintamani dog breed. Let's start the video with the appearance. For me the Kintamani looks like a typical Spitz and you can definitely find some similarities with other Spitzes like Semit. Overall it is a well proportioned dog with rectangular body with average height between 17 to 22 inches which is 44 to 57 centimeters and weight between 29 to 40 pounds which is 13 to 18 kilograms. The females are naturally smaller than males. Most people love the appearance of Kintamani and I would say it's because of two things, their sweet expression and beautiful coat. Let's start with the coat. Kintamani is a double coated dog with harsh outer coat of medium length. The coat is shorter in the face area but the neck and withers are surrounded with a long coat. Accepted colors are white, black, fawn and brindle. When you will see the head of the Kintamani for the first time, the first thing you will notice are their brown almond shaped eyes and medium sized triangular ears that are set high up on the head and stand upright. They have broad face, flat cheeks and flat forehead. I asked few people and all of them really like the face of Kintamani. If we look to the FCA breed standard, we can find that it describes the Kintamani as watchful, intelligent, alert, gentle, loyal and easy to train. It sounds almost perfect, right? But they are also very independent and sometimes territorial, especially towards other dogs. But when they are around their family, their owners, they are completely loving, friendly and affectionate. They are not extremely big barkers, but you can definitely trust them to alert you when something suspicious is going on around your house, which makes them good watchdogs as well. They are not pushovers to train, which is caused by their independent nature, but thanks to their high intelligence, they are capable of learning a lot. Patient and firm training is required. Most dogs do not like heights and they are not good at climbing, but that is not true with the Kintamani. They will love to climb up to the roof or spend a day relaxing on the top of the garden wall. Because of this, make sure that your fence is high enough so the Kintamani cannot climb over it. The Kintamani dog is native from the district of Kintamani in Bali, to be more specific from the village of Sukawana. But the certain origin of the breed is rather unknown. We know that they were bred in mountainous forest regions which makes them pretty tough and versatile. It is believed that they evolved from the Balinese feral dogs with little loss of genetic diversity. Many of the Kintamani still live the outdoor feral independent life, but very often they are taken as family pets. In the year 2006 the breed gained recognition in Bali itself and in 2019 the FCA decided to recognize the breed as well. There are many stories and rumors about the origin of the Kintamani. One story says that one Chinese trader brought his Chow Chow with him on Bali and this dog crossed with the Balinese feral dogs. Another rumor says that they might have come along with the Javanese traders or refugees in the 14th and 15th century. But it's impossible to confirm these stories and it's really believed that they evolved from the Balinese feral dogs naturally with little loss of genetic diversity. The Kintamani is usually a very healthy and hardy dog breed. They do not suffer from any major health concerns apart from the skin infections and stomach problems. And because they were never bred as working dogs, they don't have extreme exercise needs. Of course you must take them on daily long walks to keep them happy, especially when they are younger. They also love swimming and they are very good at climbing. The Kintamani requires regular brushing to remove the dead hair and minimize the shedding because as you would probably expect from a dog with coat like that, they do shed a good deal. You should bath them only when it's necessary and as with all dogs, you should regularly check their ears, eyes and nails and clean them or clip them when necessary. 
Tell me in comments what do you like the most about the Kintamani dog breed and what is your experience with them. If you are new on this channel, consider subscribing, turn the notifications on, check our Instagram, Facebook links are in description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.